Hello everyone on the Intuevs, my name is Cortex, and they're going to be watching a StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm replay with some sweet 1v1 action between our Red Terran in the upper right corner of the map playing for Team CM Storm hailing from South Korea, it is Polt versus our green Protoss in the bottom left corner of the map playing for Team ZG2, uh, ZGT, I can never say that right. I think he is hailing from Germany, not sure about that, but it is going to be Acro. Now this matchup, Acro versus Polt, I actually, I actually haven't heard that much from Acro before, but Polt, everyone knows Polt, he's a great Terran player, and we should hopefully see a great play from him. Oh wow, A, Acro, what are you doing? Going for the cheeky cannon rush? Is Acro actually going for the cannon rush right away? Look at that. No pylon in the main base sure looks like a cannon rush to me. Or, no, not a cannon rush. I mean, a two-gate pressure. Or two-gate, in a proxy two-gate. That's what I mean. There's one gate. Wait, does, does Polt even have an idea of what is going on? He doesn't see a thing. It's right there. Oh, he actually canceled it and made, made it closer. That's actually a pretty good call. That's a pretty nice call from Acro. Is he going to make another gateway soon? He's not going to have the resources, is he? Wow! I can't believe it. And is Polt going to be able to defend against this? That is a better point because he is going already for the refinery. So he's going to go for the Reaper. Which I guess is out. That actually should do a bit. But once the Stalkers pop out, then it's not going to be that good. Now second gateway should be be jumping around. Jumping out right about. Not now because he is making a pylon in the main base. What for? Maybe for the Cybernetics Core. Dear Lord, he's going to be a, uh, oh wow, Chrono was off the Zealot, he's just going straight for the mineral line, and it will arrive before the Reaper, but if it was a Marine, oh wow, Polt sees it, Polt does see it now, and what is he going to do, he's, he's, he can Chrono boost out that Marine, but he is making a second barracks, so that's actually a pretty nice call, just getting some more units out. Uh, per per minute, that is really nice. Now the Zealot is going for the mineral line, but the SCVs that are really good surround against that against it. So I should probably kill three SCVs. He killed three and it's about to die. Yes, he, he did just die. But that mer that Reaper is about to do some damage to that Zealot, and it's pretty good because the Reaper is really fast. So I can just take care of the Zealot really nicely without ever taking a hit of, a hint of damage. And then. When he's off the battle, he can just go. Wow, just one worker kill. So we're gonna have to worker skill now. It is four, but four workers. That's about 200 minerals, and that's what cost Acro. And he is really behind because he, he will lose this gateway one day. And this SCV, what he's gonna do is he just going to scout, see what is up, or do something cheeky of his own. Oh, it could be something cheeky. Could it be a, a bunker? What will he do? Actually, now. Another zealot here, but there's two reapers and one marine. They're gonna take care of it really, really nicely. So Acro doesn't have a chance. Only if he does stalkers, which he is doing right now. But he needs to focus down the reapers first because the zealot can just take care of the marine. But man, it's a bit tougher. I can just make a pound there. Now the stalker just going for the marines, but the marines are just killing it. The stalker just that instantly, no, never killing a single unit. The bunker rush. No way, he made, Polt made a bunker in the base of Acro. Well, he started one, but he couldn't finish. Now, this gateway is not going to, the cell is not going to see the light of day. He needs to cancel that cell, otherwise it will lose the resources. Oh, wow, he just destroyed it. And there go all, all the resources. And the Reapers, three Reapers just rushing straight off into Acro's base. And Acro is going to have a bit of a tough time defending against this. I mean, he knows he's researching Warp Gate. He has two more gateways being made. He has stalkers constantly being made. The bunker was castled. That was pretty good for for Acro. Third gate was so second is gonna be uh, four gateways. Not a four gate though, but just four gateways. He's not gonna be able to produce units out of all gateways. Now those two, they better finish fast, otherwise Acro doesn't stand a chance. Four Reapers can just destroy a stalker any day of the week. 24-7 24 7 365 there we go I was trying to remember how how you said it now more reapers destroying the battle one stalker is about to go down and 
this is just looking really grim for Acro. The, the supply difference is actually really, really big. More than 10 supplies, about 15 supply worth of difference. And it's just getting bigger and bigger. Uh, even though there are four gateways and there are warp gates, he needs to make stalkers, otherwise he, he won't be able to defend. But, let's see, we'll actually just make four stalkers. There we go. Three, actually. He couldn't make the fourth. Didn't have the minerals. And he should be able to fight this off, but then, then, then again, he's not going to be able to do much else. Because Pol Pulse just has an amazing, amazing lead. And GG, Acro calls it. GG gives a win to Pult. Now, what we saw here was pretty much just a fail attempt at a one-gate pressure here. Proxy one-gate from Acro. And then Pult... Since he was already, he defended it really well and he just started to amount, started to just pile up on Reapers. He just sent it to the base of Pulse for a counterattack and uh, base of Acro for a counterattack and Acro could just, just not defend against it. So, even, even though he had four gateways, it just wasn't enough. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.